please stand for the graduating class of 2017. remain standing for the posting of the colors by the Washington High School JROTC Color Guard. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order. Arms. Opposed. Will you please bow your heads as I pray? Dear Heavenly Father, we are gathered here today in celebration of our accomplishments here at Beaufort Early College. For many of us here today, it is not only a time to celebrate our works, but to also praise and honor you for all that you have done for us. For those of us here today that believe, we say thank you. We are grateful for the various mentors and individuals that you placed into our lives to help us on the road to success. We are grateful for the immense support and wisdom that these people have imparted upon us and for the opportunities to exemplify the skills and lessons that they have taught us. We are thankful for the moments in which we have and will continue to take pride within ourselves and our work, and even more so the chance presented to us to demonstrate humility in the face of our achievements. We are not only thankful for the joyous moments and times that we will treasure and hold dear to us, but we are also thankful for the trials and tribulations that we have endured and overcome. 
For while we are also leaving here today with valuable memories, we are also leaving here stronger, more capable adults with lessons that will carry over and will stay in the test of time. Finally, the biggest aspect of our years here that many of us wish to thank you for are the friends and family we have been blessed with throughout the early college program. We are forever grateful that we were guided and led to this program and that we are fortunate enough to become a part of this school. We pray that you will continue to guide us not only throughout the rest of our academic career, but throughout all the days of our lives. We give you all the honor and the glory. In your name we pray, amen. You may be seated. Good evening. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to the Beaufort County Early College High School graduation for the class of 2017. We gather tonight to celebrate the accomplishments and hard work of these graduates. These students have committed themselves to five years of learning, and I know the long-awaited act of turning their tassels will bring overwhelming joy. At this time, I would like to recognize several special guests. Please stand when your name is called. Dr. Don Phipps, Superintendent of Beaufort County Schools. Mr. Mark Doan, Assistant Superintendent. Terry Walker, Chair of the Board of Education. Carolyn Walker, Vice Chair of the Board of Education. I would also like to recognize several individuals from the Community College. Dr. Barbara Tanzi, President of Beaufort County Community College. Members of the Board of Trustees, Vice Presidents, and Deans that are present. On behalf of the students and faculty of the Early College, we sincerely thank you for allowing our students to be housed on your campus and for partnering with Beaufort County Schools. Next, I would like to acknowledge the faculty and staff of the Early College. Please stand. Thank you for believing in these students and guiding them for the last five years. And finally, to the parents and family members of our graduates, we thank you for your continued support. I can only imagine the many emotions that are in this room tonight. I know you have all dreamed of this day for quite some time. This is our fifth graduating class at the Early College. Among these graduates, 28 received their associate's degree, with one student completing both associate degrees in four years. 16 students will transfer to a four-year university, seven will attend a community college, and 12 students will enter the workforce. Graduates, no matter where you go after this night, remember your experiences in high school of endurance and perseverance as you face challenges in the future. I challenge you to continue the strong work ethic you have maintained in high school so you will experience success in your future endeavors. Again, welcome and thank you all for sharing this special occasion with us. Good evening to all. It is my pleasure to have the opportunity to introduce our guest speaker for tonight, Dr. David McLawhorn. Dr. McLawhorn served as the fourth president of Beaufort County Community College for 11 years, from 2001 to 2012. He served 37 years in the community college and was instrumental in establishing the Beaufort County Early College High School program in 2008. Dr. McLawhorn earned a bachelor degree, a bachelor of science degree, excuse me, in social sciences in 1969 from Campbell College. He earned two master's degrees from East Carolina University in rehabilitation counseling in 1973 and adult education in 1978. In 1987, he earned his doctorate of education degree from North Carolina State University. Dr. McLawhorn began his professional career as a correctional rehabilitation counselor at selected at selected prisons in Northeastern North Carolina in 1969. Moving to the community college system, Dr. McLawhorn served as an instructor for criminal justice from 1975 to 1979, and associate dean for curriculum instruction from 1979 to 1990 at Wilson County Technical Institute. 
1990, he moved to Beaufort County Community College, where he served as Dean of Instruction before becoming the president of the college in 2001. He is currently a member of several community organizations and is actively, actively involved in the Early College Rotary Club. This year, he is inducting the new members and organized service projects for our students. Dr. McLarhorn has always been a supporter of the Early College Program. On behalf of the 2017 graduates, we thank you so much for your part in establishing the Early College on campus of Beaufort County Community College. You have helped the 34 graduates before you and hundreds of other students achieve a higher education that may have not otherwise been possible. And now, without further ado, please join me in welcoming Dr. David McLaughlin. Thank you, Ms. Ross, for that introduction. Uh, my remarks tonight, I'm gonna focus on two areas. Uh, first, I wanna talk about the early college and how I got started and why, and then I'll conclude with some tips for the uh, graduates tonight. But first, I wanna to congratulate tonight's graduates and their parents, guardians, and friends. They are the fifth class to graduate from Beaufort County Early College High School, and they have continued the proud tradition of academic excellence again this year by having a high score on the school report card for the entire Northeast region. I want the graduates to think back about five years ago when you first came on campus and think back when you received that, those first course syllabi. Remember when you started opening them up and started reading them and all the requirements for papers all the homework assignment requirements. You probably said to yourself, what have I gotten myself into? It's kind of like Wizard of the Oz when Dorothy tells her dog Toto, we aren't in Kansas anymore, Toto. <laughs> well, just like Dorothy and Toto, you found yourselves in a different but very unique educational environment. One that started over a decade ago when Dr. Jeffrey Moss Superintendent of Buffalo County Schools and myself met and decided to apply for a planning grant, which we received, and we started work appointing committees to do the research work that we needed to do. The funds for that first grant came from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Yeah, that's the same man, Bill Gates, the, the richest man in the world, provided the initial funding for this early college. Now, Mr. Gates was a believer in small high schools, and also he placed an emphasis on the, on the three R's. He called them rigor, relevant curriculum, and the relationships between students and teachers. And those were the cornerstones of early college high schools. Now, he, back in 2005, when they really got started going good, he had already given a billion dollars to the effort to start early college high schools in the United States. So he, he puts his money where his heart is. Uh, we took that planning grant and we, uh, one of the first things we, we did was visit other schools and mainly, in my opinion, mainly to talk to the, the students to see what they thought. And what we found were students that were very enthusiastic about what they were doing. We went, we visited um, Nash, Edgecombe, and Sampson Community College. And every student we talked to was enthusiastic about the college, or the early college high school. Uh, one thing they talked about was that their campus was drama free. And that was something new to me. I, <laughs> what is this drama thing? And, and uh, it, it may not be an issue today, I uh, hope it's not, but uh, back in those days uh, on the traditional high school campus, you, you had a certain uh, degree of drama. But uh, that was a decision for some of the students that they made to, to come to the early college to avoid that situation. But these early visits were so successful that uh, we decided to move forward with an implementation grant, which again was funded by the Gates Foundation. And included in that grant was a mission type statement, and I read, both Canada schools and both community college are committed to establishing an autonomous high school on the college campus 
that meets all requirements of the new school's project. The curriculum will be academically rigorous, personally relevant, and will provide high levels of support to students. Those are all those three things that uh, Bill Gates was looking for. The school's population will affect, reflect the diversity of the community while targeting demographic subgroups that are historically underrepresented in post-secondary education. I think it's safe to say that after looking at the results of the five graduating classes, the decision to open on August 5th 2008 was a momentous decision. The early college high school has brought opportunities to hundreds of students who wouldn't have had those experiences without it. I'm extremely proud to have had a role in it. Of all the achievements during my 11 year tenure here at the college, I rank it at the top. There were a lot of staff and teachers from both the school system and the college. They all worked very hard to make it happen. It was truly a team effort between Beaufort County Schools and the community college. An effort that was rewarding when it was created a very unique and educational experience for our youth and our community. One that requires a great deal of extra effort by everybody including the students, teachers, staff, and parents. But the extra effort is well worth it when you look at the end result. And the end result is young adults with renewed confidence in themselves plus academic credentials that will enable them to achieve their goals in life. That's what it's all about. And I want to move on now to my advice, uh, tips for the quote unquote real world. Uh, first tip, be open to new experiences, but also have goals. Your transition into adulthood would be filled with many diversions. Brace yourself for the future. Think on your feet when changes come and learn to adapt in any situation. Your career path may become obsolete or some gadget could transform, transform your career field forever. So be ready for change, but also have goals you want to accomplish. The most rewarding paths are ones with a prize at the end. Know what you want and have some idea of how to get there. You may take a different course, but never stop moving forward. Tip number two, rely on things you can control, like your attitude and effort. Individually, we can't control the economy, the weather, or actions of people. They happen where we like it or not. Everything that we can control comes from within. Attitude and effort are two factors that we can control that will lead, help us lead to greater success. Our attitude is purely our own choice. No matter what people say or do to us, we have a decision of how we will, will re react. Some people just choose just to have a bad attitude about almost anything. You buy them a cake and they complain about the frosting. They get a raise and a promotion and they complain about the increase in responsibility. Life events are going to happen, whether we complain about them or not. Our attitude determines how these events will affect us, positive or negative. But effort, effort may be the greatest factor in determining our success. And our effort is often determined by our attitude. They work hand in hand. Your extra effort will set you apart from the average person who only does what is necessary to get by. A positive attitude paired with a strong effort leads to great achievement. Third tip, take risks and don't be afraid to fail. The worst thing in life is not failure. The worst thing in life is never trying. Be okay with giving it your best, your best shot regardless of the outcome. Each time you fail, learn from it. If you don't take risks, you will never reach your full potential, and you also won't have as much fun. George Bernard Shaw once said, a life spent making mistakes is not only more honorable, but more useful than a life spent doing nothing. You can, you can begin one career while searching for another one. 
life experiences build upon each other. Many students aban abandon their major once they graduate, but nothing is lost or wasted. Sometimes mistakes take you to a greater success. Each life experience prepares us for better or worse. If you're alert and paying attention, you'll be ready when the next opportunity comes along. This is how you lay the stepping stones towards your future. Fourth and final tip, give something back. All of you are blessed, brains, skills, and a drive to succeed, or you wouldn't be sitting there tonight in your caps and gowns. Although you alone possess those attributes, you should share those with your parents, your community, and your country. You're obligated to use these gifts for something other than your own enrichment. The people I know that are really happy are those who have followed their own spirit and lived their lives in service to others. Do something useful with your life. Make a difference in other people's lives. Leave something, be something behind when you leave this earth, not just because you should, but because it is the surest way of living a good life and it will make you happy. In closing, I would like for you to remember this line from Ralph Waldo Emerson. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. You have everything within you to create a happy and rewarding life. Don't ever doubt yourself. Be bold in your pursuit of your dreams. We're excited to welcome you into the quote unquote real world. Thank you and Godspeed on your journey. will say great minds must think alike because when I was younger a very wise person told me nothing and I mean nothing beats failure but a try historians will write essays about it scientists will peer review it mathematicians will write proofs of it if you do not try you're guaranteed to fail think of it this way take the example of a fast-paced action movie or an adventurous video game the ruggedly handsome protagonist does that one thing that would set off that chain reaction and catapult the plot into that bit of action that you came looking for. That's the try that I'm talking about. That attempt in action is what I'm focusing on without thinking about the outcomes or problems. This seemingly special person attempted something. That attempt is what makes that person unique. The great majority of people would just keep on puttering along in life like nothing's happening, ignoring the alien invasion or neglect of the sword and the stone. But I'm here to tell you that I'm not one of those majorities, and neither are any of my peers. Now, I'm not saying we're all heroes that are going to save the day or the next King Arthur, but I am saying that we're all cut from the same cloth, and we all share that ambition. All of us have been through the same trials and tribulations that have made us stronger as both individuals and as a whole. <laughs> We've all... Um, been in Probert's class and learned the, the hard way that you need to put forth effort not to be called a knucklehead in front of the whole class. <laughs> you, we've all dissected frogs and we learned that no matter how cool anatomy or biology is, formaldehyde stinks. Really bad. We've all pushed ourselves just to get past one more semester, or one more class that nobody likes and seemingly it just won't end. Even though other people from other high schools are graduating and doing bigger, better things, we're still here. Now, clearly, we've had enough drive to succeed here at the Beaufort County Early College, and I believe I speak for all of us when I say we will also succeed anywhere and everywhere else we go. Why am I so sure of that? Well, we've been given quite the opportunity. Because we came here, we've been given a leg up, we've been given experience, we've been given responsibilities, and most of all, we've been given a valuable yet priceless education. Because of that, when we go on to school or workforce or what have you, when compared to our other graduates, we'll be more prepared, we'll be more experienced, we'll 
for the most part, be more mature. I can't speak for myself on that one. Now, for all those wonderful opportunities, I'd like to truly thank the, both the faculty of the Early College High School and Barber County Community College. Uh, thank you for answering our most repetitive and dumbfounded and pretty stupid questions throughout the years. I know there have been plenty, but thank you for also helping us through the toughest of times that any student ever could have faced. I'd also like to thank those who deserve it most, most of the crowd today. You parents, from the first car ride home to first diaper change to first prom to first graduation, this is the second one. And thank you for those who've been waiting for this moment for years. May they be in the good way or the bad way. And I'd also like to thank someone who isn't with us anymore, um, my nana. She, she passed away yesterday. And while she's not here physically tonight, she is definitely here in spirit. And I'd like to thank her for all the love that she gave our family. Thank you. Good evening. Congratulations, graduates. Um, at this time, we would like to recognize our graduates for their hard work and dedication to this program. They put in a lot of time and effort, and with that, we would like to be able to recognize you for the, all the good things you've done. When your name is called, if you would please stand and face the audience and remain standing until the last name is called. First, we would like to recognize our Early College High School National Honor Society members. Each school year, these students were invited to be inducted into a National Honor Society. They attended the induction ceremony and they also met the following criteria of having an unweighted grade point average of 3.0 while maintaining the qualities of scholarship, character, leadership, and service. Each senior inducted into the Honor Society is wearing a pin that honors this membership. They are Alex Amin, Mario Bartolo Campos, Caitlin Cartwright, Deborah Gardner, Erica Modlin, Austin Mombarts, Sharice Moore, Stefan Moore, Zach Palmore, Ben Puskas, Leslie Rivera, Timothy Sutton, Cesar Uriarte, Jennifer Watson, and Rebecca Williams. Well done, students. Our next group of students are our honor graduates. These students finished their high school careers with an overall final weighted grade point average of 3.625. Each senior is wearing a gold cord signifying this honor. They are Alex Amin, Mario Bartolo Campos, Elizabeth Beecham, Caitlin Cartwright, Deborah Garner, Erica Modlin, Austin Mombart, Sarah Moore, Sharice Moore, Stefan Moore, Zachary Paramore, Ben Puskas, Jamie Ramirez Fuentes, Leslie Rivera, Jarrett Sosby, Timothy Sutton, Cesar Uriarte, Jennifer Watson, and Rebecca Williams. Awesome job. Our next group of seniors are North Carolina academic scholars. 
These students have completed selected college preparatory courses and have an overall final unweighted grade point average of 3.5. These graduates will receive a seal of recognition on their high school diploma and the transcript. These seniors are Alex Amin, Mario Bartolo Campos, Elizabeth Beecham, Caitlin Cartwright, Deborah Garner, Lovely Johnson, Zachary Pamore, Leslie Riviera, and Jennifer Watson. Congratulations. Last but not least, the following students completed their Associate of Arts and or Science degrees from Beaufort County Community College. Each graduate is wearing a white cord signifying this honor. They are Alex Amin, Mario Bartolo Campos, Elizabeth Beecham, Zachary Beaver, Brandy Brewer, Cody Cahoon, Caitlin Cartwright, Taylor Clark, Deborah Garner, Erica Modlin, Austin Mombart, Sarah Moore, Sharice Moore, Stefan Moore, Zach Pamore, Ben Puskas, Jamie Ramirez Fuentes, Leslie Rivera, Kiara Ross, Woo! Lady Sanchez Resendez, Heather Silva, Jared Sosby, Tim Sutton, Cesar Uriarte, Jennifer Watson, Tara Wilkerson, and Rebecca Williams. We would now like to recognize our scholarship recipients. Elizabeth Beecham is receiving the East Carolina University grants totaling $7,920. Caitlin Cartwright, she is receiving the East Carolina John B. Christianberry Merit Scholarship in the amount of $1,500 and the East Carolina Centennial Scholarship in the amount of $10,000 for a total of $11,500. <laughs> Deborah Garner, she is receiving the USC Chapel Hill University grants totaling $15,992 and a Salem College scholarship in the amount of $56,000, totaling $71,992. Brina McDonald, she's receiving the Campbell University Scott Ellis scholarship in the amount of $40,000, and the North Carolina Wesleyan Scholarship totaling $29,510 for a total amount of $69,510. <laughs> Erica Modlin, receiving East Carolina University grants in the amount of $5,670 and also the Washington Noon Rotary Club Scholarship for $1,500 for a total of $7,170. Sharice Moore, receiving the E.C. Winstead and other grants from Barton College in the amount of $15,660, and also the Barton Stone Scholarship in the amount of $28,000, totaling $43,660. Zach Palmore, 
received the State Employees Credit Union People Helping People Scholarship in the amount of $5,000. Jamie Ramirez Fuentes received East Carolina University grants in the amount of $8,966, Southern Adventist University scholarships and grants for $14,400, and Andrews University partnership scholarships and grants totaling $41,409 for a total amount of $64,815. Leslie Rivera received East Carolina University grants in the amount of $3,000 and High Point University Academic Scholarship in the amount of $20,000 for a total amount of $23,000. <laughs> Jarrett Sosby receiving East Carolina University grants totaling $7,920. Tim Sutton, receiving East Carolina University grants in the amount of $9,416 and the Potash Corp of Aurora Corporate Award in the amount of $20,000, totaling $29,416. As of today, the class of 2017 has 358,957 dollars in scholarships and grants. And the moment that we've all been waiting for. Graduates with the class of 2016 present themselves to receive their diplomas. So you four rise. Stand together. Mm -hmm. Gerard Alexander Amin. <coughs> Zachary Ryan Paramore. Pierre Danae Ross. <laughs> Rebecca Morgan Williams. Ryan Nathaniel Ainsley. Woo! Mario Ernesto Bartolo Campos. Elizabeth Nicole Beecham. <laughs> Zachary Shane Beaver. Brandy Joe Brewer. <laughs> Cody Wilson Cahoon.
Caitlin Nicole Cartwright. Taylor Dwayne Clark. <laughs> Joseph Taylor Cote. Deborah Leandra Gardner. <laughs> William Jarvis Harris. Brina Vene McDonald. <laughs> Erica Lane Modlin. Austin Marie Mombart. Sarah Nicole Moore. Therese Earl Moore. <laughs> Stefan Joel Moore. Mark Stephen Peed Jr. <laughs> Benjamin Andrew Putskus. Jamie Elizabeth Ramirez Fuentes. <laughs> Leslie Hazel Rivera. Lady Diana Sanchez Resendez. Yeah. <laughs> Heather Sarah Silva. Jarrett Levi Sosby.
Timothy Aaron Sutton. Caesar Adrian Uriarte. <laughs> Jennifer Alyssa Watson. Tara Elizabeth Wilkerson. Okay. In recognition of the records and achievements of the students of this class, I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements of the Buffer County Schools in the state of North Carolina. I take pleasure in recommending the class of 2017 to the principal, Mrs. Emily Paik. Acknowledging the certification of these graduates and the recommendation by Ms. Ginger Jefferson, counselor, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as principal of Beaufort County Early College High School, I take pleasure in presenting the graduating class of 2017 to Dr. Don Phipp, superintendent of Beaufort County Schools. It is an honor and privilege for me to be able to be the first person to address you all as graduates. And on behalf of the Beaufort County Schools Board of Education and our faculty and staff members, I want to say congratulations. As you depart tonight and go to what, whatever life has in store for you, my prayer for you is that your dreams would be great and your accomplishments greater. Again, congratulations. Graduates, please stand. And now for the real moment we've all been waiting for. Class of 2017, let's turn those tassels. I really want to throw my cap. I might get somebody to kill me. 